Dear Doris, I write to you in haste as I haven't much time. For three years I have served king and country. I have sat behind my desk and I have done my duty with diligence and purpose. It was with a heavy heart, Doris, my dear, that I realised that that time is at an end. I have been commissioned to the, to the front line. I now find myself facing a strange truth. Captain Blackadder and I are not so dissimilar. For three years we have both endeavoured to escape this madness, only differing in our means, yet our ends will be the same. It is with an indescribable amount of sadness, Doris, that I now tell you that this will be my last letter. I would ask you not to despair, but know that the pride with which I go into battle is no less than that which I had behind my desk. I love you. Kevin. Care of Primate House, London Zoo. Dear Ma'am, I am sorry to have to tell you this in a letter, but Neville is dead. I hope he has gone to a better place where he can snuffle his little nose and eke his days away. Anywhere is better than the sink. There is a lot of talk about us going over the top tomorrow morning. Captain B, Lieutenant George and myself have been having a lovely evening, though. We played games. Captain B is very good at I Spy, but I think I might have won overall. He certainly seemed to be annoyed at losing anyway. Lieutenant George liked my war poems and has invited me down to the country after the war is over. It's nearly morning now. I'm scared, Mum. From your loving son, Private S.O. Baldrick. Dearest Mama, Cracking news, our waiting is finally over. Tomorrow we're going over the top. Me, myself and my chums are going to dodge and roll and kick all the Bosch bottoms back to Berlin. I wish you could be there to cheer me on, but I'll send you a postcard and a pretzel once I'm there. Well, speaking of Nosh... Thanks a plenty for the jam tarts, but unfortunately they were stolen by a kangaroo whilst Captain Blackadder was guarding them. Just like the pork pie and chocolates last week. The Cap tried his best to save them though, so if you can send him a little something, I'd be chuffed. We advance in the morning, so I have to go. I know you must be a bit nervous, but don't worry, I'm going to be just fine. See you soon, your loving son, George. Dear Mary, I thought I would write to say hello. I know it's been a while. I'm due to speak with Field Marshal Haig shortly, but I may be required to answer the call so many others have rallied to. Should I find myself able, I will look you up next week and perhaps we can have tea. I did so enjoy your company all those months ago. Yours, Edmund Blackadder. P.S. If you should have communication with my mother, please reassure her my post office books are under the squeaky floorboards behind the kitchen dresser. <laughs>